That's a Florida Keys prize right there. Let's throw them in the box. Well, here we are on the edge of the reef. Stephanie's dropping the hoop net in the water because we're gonna try to catch some live ballyhoo here. We've had an interesting morning. It's been a little tough getting out here. Our trolling motor went down. Live well pump took a crap, so we're hanging on by threads right now. So hopefully we can get some ballyhoo in the net. We can put them in the live well, get out and do some fishing. What do you think? You about burned out or you're nope. ready to go? I'm just getting started. You know what? They never said fishing was easy, so. No. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So it's one of those mornings, but we're staying positive. Hopefully things can turn around. Let's see what we can do. So what I'm trying to do is get these ballyhoo comfortable so that I Got can catch with you. Guys, one thing I wanted to tell you is that studies show if you find yourself a woman that catches bait for you, you'll probably catch a fish. You'll live a much happier <laughs> life. Good job. So we just filled up the well, or should I say, I just filled up the well. That's right. And um, Clay's impressed. Why are you impressed, baby? Because I got to give credit where credit's due. That's so. right. And it's been a while. Exactly. And there is not an ounce of rust on this girl. It's been a little while since she's been out here with us, but. Since we got the ballyhoos, we're gonna drop them down, see if we can catch something on the bottom, and uh, see what we can do. Let's go. Let's do it. So we just made it to our first spot here and as you can see we're at about 110 115 feet fluctuating but um basically what we're doing right now is we're just turning on our sonar and as you can see when we're out here fishing we're looking for um i guess you could say it looks like distortion here on the bottom and that's actually life that's fish that could be fans uh, coral heads, all different kinds of things. So when you come out here, you want to make sure that you have something that looks like this. You see where it's all flat right here? You know, that's not really much. There's not really anything down there that could be flat bottom, maybe sandy bottom, grassy bottom. But you want to look for a lot of coloration, a lot of distortion here on the bottom because, you know, when you can find that distortion more than half the time, that's fish. And hopefully, the ones that we're after are down there. God dang it, look at me. She's got ballyhoo poop all over her. <laughs> it's great, man. Oh, we're doubled up. How about that, huh? Come on, baby. <laughs> Feels like a nice, mine oh feels my, like a nice fish. Mine feels like a really nice fish. I can't even. How about that? We may have a grouper. First two drops. We've been fishing for five minutes. We're doubled up. Let's see what it is, baby. Come on. I'll tell you what, we deserve it right now after the morning that we just had. <laughs> so as you can see, I just got to the weight here. I'm going to unclip it. That's what's so nice about having that loop there. I'm seeing color. Mine kind of looks like a mutton. Yeah, that's what mine could be too. What do we have, baby? What do we got? Mutton, baby! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Look at that! I'll tell you what, there is nothing better than a mutton snapper right there. Let me help you out right there, Stephanie. See, now, now the rust is showing. The rust is showing on Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. We'll get you back in the groove. What do you got? I'm gonna tell you, if we have a double on muttons right now, that would be absolutely insane. And that's exactly what it is. We just doubled up oh, a mutton. Oh, and mine's Look much at the size bigger. Of this one. That's right. How, how do you always one up me? <laughs> 
What a way to start the morning. That is what I am talking about. Oh yeah, about. slap me in the face and everything with it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. Look at that. Two oh fat muttons first thing in the morning. Woo! That is what happens when I fish with my girl. That's right, baby. <laughs> Good job. With two Ooh. muttons to start the day, All right. I'll tell you what, I could go home right now and I'd be perfectly happy. I know, me too. That's Look a that. Florida Keys prize right there. Let's throw them in the box. So as you can see, Stephanie's already got her rod in the water. We're about to hook this ballyhoo. Basically, you go right underneath their jaw, out through their top lip. What we're gonna do, take this, cast it out. We're using a really long leader here, about 30, 35 feet, 40 pound fluorocarbon. Um, we use that long leader just because mutt and snapper, they're known to be a really spooky fish. Um, so the key to having that long leader is just getting that weight away from the bait. Because if that weight is near that bait, um, they're less likely to eat. But as you can see, we have a bimini twist there. Somebody got on me on the last video about using a spider hitch. But I told you guys to do a spider hitch because if you're a beginner, a spider hitch is a lot easier than a bimini. But this time we're using a bimini and we're using the end of that loop from the bimini to clip on the weight. And then that leader is tied with a double uni knot to the bimini twist. And what we do is take that, drop it down, wait for the bite. got a good fish on her. So as you guys can see, we had some weather move in. Oh. Stephanie's got a pretty good fish on right now. He working you or what? Yeah, watch it's like a little minnow or something. Ow! You need, this has got to be a nice fish, whatever it is. A grouper! Really? Yeah! No way, a nice! Look at that, baby! Oh, Black trooper! Clay, I, I am chopping you up! <laughs> I can't tell you the last time we've caught a grouper out here doing this. That's Two awesome. muttons, black grouper. So black grouper, they have to be 24 inches. Let's check. And you know what? He's short. He is short, yep. Yeah. That sucks, an inch short. That's some good eating, but you know what? We got two muttons in the box, so. Right there, baby, is what you call a Florida Keys prize. I mean, this little above average mutton snapper, but of course the one that Stephanie caught was just an absolute stud. I mean, that is a massive mutton snapper right there. But she's upstairs right now. She's getting all showered up because she is getting ready to cook for you guys. So you guys got to see her in action all throughout the day and now you're gonna see her in action up in the kitchen which I'm excited about because I'm starving but um, yeah we'll start out with the big one first clean them up take them upstairs get to cooking these past couple videos we have been absolutely killing it today we only got two keeper fish definitely saw a lot caught a lot but hey I am perfectly happy with two nice mutton snapper that's more than enough so we're gonna go right behind his head here and go down his backbone. You'll notice, I mean, after cleaning a lot of fish and different kinds of fish, it's all pretty much the same. You just come down their spine, work around their head. Go under the stomach. And then just work right underneath their bellies, just like that. Then flip them over, do the same exact thing all over again. All right, so 
So now that we got the cuts on both sides, now we're gonna start removing the meat from the actual fish. Just take that knife, run it all the way down his back. And God, that filet is looking beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. That's one filet. Gonna flip them over, finish off the other side. Now we're done with the fish. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the skin. And what I actually like to do is I like to cut the filet actually in half. Just since I have kind of a small knife, it makes it a lot easier for me to run that knife down the actual filet. Now that we have them cut in half, we're just gonna run that knife right in between where the meat meets the skin. Toss that. Do the same exact thing through the rest of them. And boom, that is it, baby. That is how you clean and catch a mutton snapper. Now we're gonna take this upstairs to Stephanie, clean up the other one. Let's get to eating, I'm starving. Welcome to the kitchen where things get hot. <laughs> so thank you, Clay, for this lovely fish. You're very welcome. Well, I mean, you did catch the big one, so. Yeah, that's right. I had to put these guns to work. So now that he's cleaned the fish, we're gonna season it up and get started with our Cajun meal. We're gonna be using some Cajun seasoning, some salt, brown sugar, some red onions, and then we're gonna make a salsa on the side. So, you know us and salsa, we love it. So, <laughs> we're gonna be using pineapple, strawberry, lime, and some salt and cilantro for our salsa. And that's really just going to add so much flavor to what we're going to create with this snapper. So, let's get started. So right now I'm finishing up seasoning my fish. I um, made this mixture, it's with um, crushed crackers. I didn't have the cracker meal, so I just made my own. I just got some crackers and crushed them together. And then I added some brown sugar and Cajun seasoning. And now I'm just coating my fish with it. And then all I gotta do is put it on the frying pan and start cooking. The salsa's done. Now let's go ahead and get started on cooking our fish. So, I've been heating up my pan because you want to make sure that pan is real hot before you place that fish on it. And then, we're just going to cook it for a few minutes and then transfer it onto a baking pan. So the key to this margarita sauce is to have a tequila shot and then it's just going to taste good. And then you'll forget about the sauce. <laughs> But <laughs> tell no. them what you're really doing. All right, so I'm just gonna add some tequila to our mixture. Then I'm gonna add my lime. You ready for this? Ooh, chop. That's what you call some aging cooking. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have all of our ingredients. Now we just gotta mix it all in. So we're gonna throw this margarita sauce on top of it. Then we're just gonna add our salsa. I'm gonna mix it up one last time. And voila, we got our fish.
Alrighty. This looks delicious. Not because I cooked it, but because I caught it too. <laughs> I have had a crazy last couple of weeks. Um, I've been super busy at work. I work Monday through Friday, so whenever you see me out here in a video, it's because I'm working overtime on the weekend. That's right. How does it taste like? Because you just, you know, went right into it. Delicious. Would you Doesn't, change anything? Nothing whatsoever, and I think I already feel that tequila buzz working a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, like Stephanie said, you know, we filmed this weekend, got her in the video because at the end of the day, we love fishing, we love filming together, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much she loves it, but fishing and filming combined, that's my passion. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have a media company in addition to all of the other things that I do. Um, so, you know, doing this is like second nature and um, I really, really enjoy it. And I really enjoy that you guys are watching. And I honestly feel like the sky is the limit. I feel yeah. like we can make this channel big as long as we keep on working hard and you guys keep on watching, which we appreciate we do. so much. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you go ahead and do the famous ending. All right, so <laughs> what we want to know is what you thought about this video. Mm -hmm. Also, try this recipe at home because it is delicious. Yeah, that's right. All of our recipes are in the link, not the link, but the description below throughout every video. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed our video. Let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you guys.